let's make a water cycle terrarium to observe evaporation, condensation, precipitation, runoff, and collection. Start by gathering the materials you'll need to complete this activity. First, have an adult help you cut a two liter plastic bottle in two. Use a rubber band to mark just beneath where you want to cut. This helps you line up a nice straight cut. Start with the box cutter to poke through the bottle. Next, use the scissors to cut around the bottle and separate it into two different pieces. The top of the bottle should fit down inside the bottom of the bottle so that they overlap about an inch. Pour some sand into the bottom of the bottle, about a half a cup. Next, add some small rocks. This helps with drainage so that the soil in your terrarium doesn't stay too wet. Put some soil in the bottom of the bottle on top of the rocks, and then add your plant. Put some more soil on top to bury the roots of your plant and keep it in place. Next, add a small plastic container, like a condiment cup. This will be a pond. Don't forget to add some water to your pond. Fit the top of the bottle down inside the bottom of the bottle so that they overlap. Pour some water through the top of your bottle to make sure your soil is nice and moist. Set your terrarium in a warm, sunny window. If you don't have a warm, sunny window, you can also use a heat lamp. Observe what happens inside your terrarium. If you want to do this experiment in your science class, check the link in the description for lesson materials that include background information, step-by-step -step directions with pictures, a student response page, and a scoring rubric.